All right, I got a quick little tune up on this uh, Sima Banff here. Not really gonna do a whole lot, just a spring and probably install this OEM MOSFET because while I do like this trigger switch, this particular trigger switch is has a very tactile, clicky feel to it, which I like. Um, it's very easy to override and uh, just get a dead trigger pull. So this is already front wired. I'm gonna keep it front wired because it's wired up to this front hand guard. And it's already wired to Dean's. Don't have to do anything to it. Easy peasy stuff. This is for my sister. This is her personal gun. Doesn't need to be fancy. Oh, and I got this OEM Sima Platinum Neodymium Magnet Motor because these BAMPs do not have a neodymium magnet motor. This is the motor that came out of it. It is a standard white and bell garbage uh, motor. Now, that being said, trigger response was, that thing just slid onto the floor, quite good. Uh, there was quite a bit of overspin, so it was basically pre-cocking, but the trigger response was quite good and the rate of fire was around 18 RPS on a 11.1 volt LiPo. So looking at the compression setup, it's your standard Sima stuff, you know, standard Sima blue piston, it's not FMR, standard Sima cylinder head, standard Sima nozzle, pretty standard stuff, standard Sima tap plate, gears, blah, 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 it works. All right, I've uh, gotten the gears as quiet as I can, but the standard Sima gears with the, the red end bell motor, they're just kind of a noisy combo. Uh, so this is what it sounds like on this sort of small 11.1 volt, which is what my sister's gonna be using because it's the only thing that'll fit in these hand guards here. So, semi-auto, no pre-cocking or anything. It's not programmable. Pretty all right. All right, so I wound up installing some 18, SHS 18 to ones. They sound better than the stock gears. The stock gears were pretty grindy sounding no matter what I did. I also installed four, uh, I believe these are SHS bearings and then an SHS, uh, two SHS meteorite bushings under the spur gear. So should be durable enough for a standard 1.5 joule 18 to one build. Again, the motor is just a standard red end bell Sima neodymium magnet motor from like a Sima Platinum. Yeah, that's all right. Stock on it, but uh, this is the trigger response on a small 11.1. That's pretty good. Those are the uh, performance numbers. It's it's ever so slightly over the limit, but I don't know where the hop is at. It, it might be a little under hop, so I might be able to bring that down a little bit with just a little bit more hop. Stock, stock hop unit and barrel and bucking and everything like that. These um, these um, new Sima hop units I actually really like. Uh, the buckings they use they seal well. They lift 0.32s, no problem. Uh, the stock Simon Platinums can go up to 200 feet plus, no problem. Um, but yeah, SHS 18 to ones. It's got a Sima Platinum red M bell uh, high torque motor. Uh, it's got SHS bearings and bushings, uh, two bushings under the on the spur gear, and. Uh, it's got a standard like OEM Sima front wired MOSFET. It's the new batch MOSFET, so I'm not really worried about it failing. But uh, this is the trigger response on a small 1500 milliamp 25C 11.1 volt LiPo. Not exactly spammable on this, on this trigger, but it's better than a standard trigger switch. Full auto, around 21, 22 RPS. Not bad for a really budget build.